What's going on guys? Mishikishu, we are back with another Umumusume video. Um, and we are here for the new banner. Pretty much the new banner. Um, also, the Taurus Cup, not the Taurus Cup, the Ares Cup has finally showed itself, but it won't take place for another... Let's check. Another 64 hours, so like, below, pretty close to three days at this point. So, we do have the new banner, and it is Sakura Laurel. And I don't have enough to pull for her. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's see if we can do anything to at least go for one pull. But if not, then it is what it is. I mean, they always do normally do this where they release a banner right before the champions meeting and they're usually capable of doing the champions meeting as well. So actually, I think I should most likely just save my jewels for the next banner, which should be another event. So I think I'm going to just do that. So let's just go into the banner for Sakura Laurel. She's the only thing that's new here, I think, because I believe these are all reruns. Yeah, this was from Christmas, and then that's just the Ice and Flash speed card, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, I do have a yellow ticket that we can use, so might as well give it a shot before we jump in into Sakura Laurel. I won't be doing any summons, obviously, since I do not have uh, enough jewels to begin with. Also, speaking about the champions meeting, I still have not gotten a Narita Taishin ready after like the whole weekend and all that. Same with Kita-san because I've been focusing on Taishin. But I still have about three days, so I think we'll be just fine. Be just fine. So let's talk about Sakura Laurel, which seems appropriate because it is spring. Um, so at level one, we do have Level 1, 3 stars, we do have 83 speed, 100 stamina, 87 power, 98 guts, and 82 wise or wisdom. And then at level 5, 101 speed, 123 stamina, 106 power, 120 guts, and 100 wise or wisdom, like I said. <laughs> As for her aptitudes, it seems like you could bring her dirt up to a B at least. Yeah, I think to a B at least, if you want to try your luck on trying to use her in dirt races, but she is mainly a turf runner. As for her aptitudes for races, she can run from mile all the way to long distance. Obviously, for mile distance, for the mile distance, you just want to bring it up to the inheritance. And judging by her aptitude for her position, seems like she is more of a betweener. Which makes sense why they would release the um, Aishin Flash speed card as well. So, um, and then her growth rates is 20% on stamina and 10% on power. So she does have a unique nickname, the Large Late Blooming Berry Blossoms, I think. Um, win the Emperor's Award Spring by two and a half or more when the Arima Kinen senior class and have a basic ability stamina of 1200 or more. Who wanna have for more? For the Emperor's Award Spring. <laughs> Moving on to her unique skill, Blossom World. If you are in the middle of the race, your speed will increase a little. Um, this is full throttle for her initial skill. Use a little endurance in the middle of the race to increase speed a little for betweeners and then hurry at the beginning of the race towards the end of the race. The beginning of the race towards the end of the race. If you have enough reserve power, move slightly forward. I think um, at the beginning of the final uh, straight or something. Is what I'm assuming it would be. 
I, if you have enough reserve power and move slightly forward, that would make sense to me. Because it's also for long distance as well. As for awakening skills, we have tail up for level two. Activating a lot of skills in the middle, middle of the race increases speed slightly. Uh, courageous advance. Let me see what other names. Courageous progress or advance, I believe is a name. Uh, for awakening skill level three. Use a little endurance in the middle of the race to greatly increase speed strategy or for betweeners. And then for the fourth one, we have. I'll be honest, it just says eating. So <laughs> if you try to overtake in the latter half of the race, the speed will increase slightly for betweeners. And then lastly, we have um, all at once at the beginning of the race towards the end of the race. If you have enough energy to spare, move forward. As for the evolutions of these skills, we have courageous progress into cherry blossom front and progress. Raise the speed very much in the middle of the race. Evolution conditions one when the Emperor's Prize Spring. I'm assuming it's a Tenosha Spring. And then stamina is over 600. And then second condition possess two or more skills of difference. Difference, I'm assuming, is for betweeners. Although, aren't they called insert? It's kind of weird. Well, I'll be honest, these translations sometimes is a little weird, but as we can see, it is for betweeners. Then, for the last one from all at once to let's make it blue. At the beginning of the race, towards the end of the race, if you have enough reserve power, you will move forward. So it's the same. And then for the conditions, condition one, activate the training event. Effort resides in the body or possess three or more skills that increase speed. Uh, condition two, speed is over 800. Three, possess two or more long range skills. So it does seem like she is more of a long range, um, long distance runner or long distance. Yeah, runner. It would make sense because the champions meeting is long distance. And I think that's pretty much it for this because we don't really have anything else to go over here besides the champions meeting that's coming up in about three days. So I believe the event is fully done now as it should because the new banner came out. I probably should use the rest of my event points just to get whatever rewards I can from there. Uh, let's see if there's any notable Narita Taishins that I could look over. Oh, yeah, there is this one. But her power is slow, is low. But if you want to let me know if this is just fine, then by all means, let me know if I can still use her. Um, I did manage to get wise to a UG as well, but I kind of wanted power more than wise. So if it does work out, then I should probably mark it just in case. But yeah, just let me know if that one works out. That's pretty much the best one I've done. So I don't really have any more other options. If you're wondering what that other one is, I think that was the run I did. Was it when the goddess wisdom cards came out or the friend card came out? Yeah, it was right there. But I didn't make this for anything specific, did I? I did from mile distance. Is there a reason why I did mile distance? I don't even know what's the reasoning, but we, she ended up taking the uh, highest training character that I've ever done. So pretty sure it's simply because I have 1453 in power and 1301 speed, but 
obviously that isn't the one I'm worried about. It is this one right over here. So with that being said, that is pretty much going to be the end of this video, guys. There's nothing more I can talk about. So we're just going to end the video here. Um, also, I do want to get this video out as soon as I can and also to rest up because I may have pulled hold a muscle on my lower back which kind of sucks so it hurts to like do some sudden movements and all that so i will try to uh recover as soon as possible but i'll still be posting videos for you guys regardless as i'm just here uh sitting recording these videos for you guys so with that being said if you guys didn't make it this far in this not so long video but i do appreciate it if you do if you did uh, if you guys can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are pulling for Sakura Laurel. I would totally understand if you guys did, if you do like her as a character. But for me personally, I think I'll hold off since I don't have any carrot jewels. Or, um, I think I'll pretty much save up for the next banner. So, with that being said, guys, thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You are...